Hi, South Point friends and family. Hope that everyone is holding up in the midst of this crazy season of life. I get it. We're all tired. We're all frustrated. I mean, we're all done with all the Zoom calls, right? We're ready for some part of normal to come back. I'm right there with you. I do truly miss our ability to be able to be together physically. Now, when this pandemic first started, South Point had two ways that it could have responded. South Point could have chosen to act in fear or in love. Fear would have had us say, how can we bend the rules to the maximum so that we can be together physically? Because if we can't get together, we may lose people and resources as people step away and they might not come back. Or we could have chosen the way of love. And what that means is to love our neighbor by protecting our neighbors and honoring the restrictions to help flatten the curve. I'm excited to say, I believe we chose the way of love. And in the midst of choosing the way of love, we discovered something that we've all heard way too many times. And it's this truth, the church isn't a building. The church is a community of Jesus followers who love God and love others like Christ. This past Wednesday, Governor Hogan lifted the stay at home order and he allowed for partial gatherings to happen. And right now, all of us are asking the same kind of questions. What does reopening look like and how will it be different? But the most common question I bet we're all asking at this very time is, when can we meet in person? When will we open? And that is a good and fair question. Now, reopening campuses will require us to face many decisions over the next several weeks and even over the next several months. Now, with constant change that is happening almost on a daily basis, more than coming up with some kind of timeline where we'll have to change everything over and over, South Point has decided to operate with four strategic and guiding principles that will be the filter of how we make our reopening decisions, okay? Four principles. Principle number one is this, and I wanna say this loud and clear. South Point has never been closed. Here's the amazing thing. God has done what only God can do. Our attendance has grown significantly in the digital digital access area. South Point small groups have been meeting on Zoom and we have a Parent Q app that has provided di discipleship content for families and for children. More people have said yes in an eight week period than any other time in South Point history. We had over 144 people say yes to Jesus. And on top of that, we've loved our community well. We've given out to almost 400 bags of groceries. We've provided meals to St. Mary's Hospital's frontline workers. We've bought and supplied laptops to under-resourced students who didn't have access to online education. The great news is South Point is still being the church. Principle number two, South Point services stink under strict social distancing guidelines. The reality is, is that South Point services don't work with social distancing. There are three key parts of a South Point service that make it function in who we are. Kids, worship, and community. I mean, think about this. Kids, our next generation, is one of the top priorities at South Point. And kids don't know how to social distance. You know that. And it's not in their nature. Asking kids to stop um, acting naturally could create a lasting memory of a very poor experience. None of us wants that. I mean, the worship part. How does that even happen with singers and musicians wearing masks? Singing in groups is one of the most contagious things you can do. I mean, most of us already feel uncomfortable singing loudly. What does worship feel like when the only voices we can hear are ourselves because we're all six feet apart. I mean, what about community and connecting relationally with each other? I mean, our mission at South Point is to connect the disconnected. I mean, we can't do that with strict social distancing guidelines. If we're honest, trying to have services under the current guidelines mean our services are no longer South Point services. We can't be who we were meant to be under the current conditions. Principle number three that will be our lens. Love means we won't rush back for ourselves and hurt how people see Jesus and His church. I get it. We all have different opinions on how to solve the current crisis. But regardless of our opinions, just because things are open doesn't mean that the virus has gone away. And as followers of Jesus, you and I would never want our community to think that our personal desire to be together would outweigh the need for them to be safe. And on top of that, trying to hold services that don't reflect who South Point really is could turn away these three group of people. First, those who've never been to a South Point service online or in person. 
they would see our reopening as out of touch and uncaring. Secondly, maybe there's those who started attending online but have never been to a service. They would come for the first time and have an undesirable experience because it's not our regular service. Thirdly, the regular attenders would come back hoping to experience the church that they remembered only to be disappointed by different. You know this, having services that don't reflect who South Point really is causes everyone to lose. And principle number four, we will remain agile and our plans will be flexible as things change daily. You've heard the saying that the only thing that is constant is change. This once in a lifetime event has created changing conditions that happen almost on a daily basis. I don't know, you don't know, none of us know what will happen next week or even several months down the road. So as we continue to move forward, we'll make mid-course adjustments as necessary. Reopening will be a process with phases, not in giant steps. Now, currently we're hard at work trying to figure out how we can continue to be South Point Church in a way that is not just legal, but is safe and effective. Now we haven't figured out what the phase process looks like just yet. However, we will continue to be in regular communication with you and we'll let you know as soon as we do. For now, We feel like the digital resources and content is the best way to continue to move forward in a safe and loving manner. Hey, let's remember that the church isn't a building. The church isn't a meeting. The church is a group of people dedicated to following Jesus and loving their neighbors. I do miss being together. Let's keep loving Jesus and others on His behalf. And I want you to never forget, you matter deeply to God. Have a good one.